other colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former... Tina, are you there? ...in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Sage for World News 1, September 16, 2059. We bring you a safe and happy day. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. There she is, the Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through.
You're in the control section. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. Ground launch sequencer started. Orbital access arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Perfect. Just like with practice.
burn-off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Sounding light for countdown. Rocket boosters ignition start. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start. One. We have liftoff. You must have been breathtaking when the first astronauts made their way to the moon just a hundred years ago. They knew an Earth full of life. All we know today is dust. If you can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson. Claire, we need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna 1, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must... <laughs>
storm has severely damaged our instruments, so we can't read your location or receive any messages. But we can detect fluctuations in the MPT network. If you can hear this, when you reach the control center, try to find out what's wrong with the MPT connection so you can bring it back online. Good luck and luck. Oxygen levels rising. 